What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, well-renowned trainer, two-time trainer of the year, trainer of four-division world champion, undisputed super middleweight world champion, who is widely considered the face of the sport of boxing, top three best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, if not number one, in Mexican superstar boxer, Saul Canelo Alvarez, who with 57 wins, one loss, two draw, 39 big wins by way of knockout. He is 31 years of age, five foot eight with a 70 inch arm reach. He's going into a massive showdown this upcoming Saturday, Cinco de Mayo weekend against um, WBA undefeated light heavyweight Russian superstar boxer, Dmitry Bevel, who is 19 wins, no loss, no draw, 11 wins by way of knockout. He is uh, 31 years of age as well, six feet tall with a 72 inch arm reach. Like I said, that schedule will take place Saturday, uh, May 7th, Cinco de Mayo weekend. We had big news came out yesterday that uh, broke from TGB, Tom Brown Promotions, and uh, from the PVC, Premier Boxing Champions, that they were looking to, sta to stage a fight for Canelo Alvarez. While it was a bidding going between the zone, Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn, and the PBC side for uh, Canelo Alvarez to fight Dimitri Bevel and then to fight a trilogy with his biggest rival in the third fight, obviously, against two-time unified middleweight reigning world champion Gennady Triple G Golovkin in September, or fight Jamal Charlo, undefeated two-division world champion, WBC reigning middleweight world champion, superstar boxer Jamal Lyons only Charlo, okay, for $45 million, then on the back end, possibly face off against undefeated, newly crowned, three belt, unified, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top three best pound for pound fighters in the world. And Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. is now 28 wins, no loss, and no draw. Uh, 22 big wins by way of knockout. He's 32 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach, okay? Uh, on the back end, or possibly face off against. Uh, undefeated, two-time WBC super middleweight world champion Mexican superstar boxer David Benavidez, okay? Uh, so with that said, you know, uh, there was reports that, you know, David Benavidez was on the line, okay, uh, opportunity, or, you know, um, Errol Spence Jr. So with that said, it's fight week for Canelo Alvarez. This news broke yesterday, okay? And, uh, Obviously, Canelo Alvarez was asked about it, in which Canelo Alvarez, he stated that uh, he don't need to fight Errol Spence at, um, you know, uh, uh, 164 at a catchweight because it was proposed that he would face Errol Spence for $55 million, okay, uh, to fight at a catchweight at 164 or face off against David Benavidez at 168, who was 25 wins, no loss, no draws. 22 big wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, six foot one with a 75 inch arm reach, okay? Uh, on the back end. Or, and, but the first fight would be against Jamal Charlo, who is 32 wins, no loss and no draw, 22 wins by way of knockout, 32 years of age, six feet tall with a 74 inch arm reach, okay? So instead of fighting Dimitri Bevel this upcoming Saturday, he will be fighting Jamal Charlo. And in September, he will either be facing off against Errol Spence Jr or David Benavidez, okay? Uh, so with that said, Eddie Reynoso, Canelo Alvarez, he initially stated that he sees no reason to go down to 164, and if Errol Spence truly wants to fight, um, he will have to come up to 168, right? So they confirmed that this was on the table, okay? And that, you know, um, he will have to come up to 68, not fighting Errol Spence at the catchway at 64, uh, definitely not fighting Jamal Charlo at the catchway at 164, uh, and if he fought David Benavidez, it'd be a 68. Uh, so with that said, Eddie Reynoso responds and he says, they all, they want to begin negotiations to stage a fight in 2023 for Errol Spence and Jamal Charlo. Okay. Let's make it happen. So Eddie Reynoso, he goes on record and he says, uh, let's make the biggest fights possible. Let's make it happen in 2023. Okay. Uh, now Canelo Alvarez could possibly fight three times this year. Like I stated, you know, um, Dimitri Bevel, that's for the WBA title. I favor Canelo Alvarez to win that fight. Should he win the fight, you know, he'll be the uh, WBA light heavyweight champion, two-time light heavyweight champion. He beat Sergey Krushikovalev for the WBO title at light heavyweight, but he vacated and moved that down to 68. 
Uh, now he'll hold on to the WBA title should he beat Dimitri Bivol, fight Triple G, uh, Gennady Golovkin at um, 168. If he beats Triple G, and then you can see him fight the winner of Arthur Better Beef, Joe Smith Jr., that's looking like it's going to take place June 18th at Madison Square Garden, New York, New York, uh, in unification bout. Arthur Better Beef, he is, uh, um, you know, the WBC, IBF, light heavyweight world champion, and Joe Smith Jr. is the WBO light heavyweight champion, okay? So Arthur Better Beef, Joe Smith Jr. is going to fight uh, for a unif massive unification bout. Uh, in June, June 18th. So Triple G, 42 wins, one loss, one draw, 37 wins by way of knockout, 40 years of age, five for 10 and a half for the 70 inch arm reach. Uh, he's coming off a unification victory over uh, Ryota Murata that took place April um, of, of this year where he got a ninth round TKO stoppage victory. Uh, he'll move up to 168 and challenge Canelo Alvarez, okay? Uh, and while he's doing that, you'll have, uh, uh, like I said, Arthur Better Beef facing off against um, Joe Smith Jr. Arthur Better Beef is uh, uh, undefeated, okay? Uh, he is, um, you know, uh, um, uh, 17 wins, no loss, no draw. 17 wins by way of knockout. 37 years of age, 5 for 11 and a half for the 73-inch armage. Uh, again, he's going to fight Joe Smith Jr. June 18th, um, Madison Square Garden, New York, New York. Uh Joe Smith Jr.'s 28 wins, three losses, no draw, 22 wins by way of knockout. He himself was knocked out, 32 years of age, six feet tall with a 76-inch arm reach. Joe Smith Jr., he lost to um, Dimitri Bivol back in March of 2019, okay? He lost a unanimous decision to Dimitri Bivol. Uh, so with that said, Canelo Alvarez is going to look to fight the winner, Joe Smith, Arthur Better Beef, possibly at the end of the year, to become undisputed in the second weight class and under a calendar year at light heavyweight. He did so at uh, super middleweight, then he'll do so at light heavyweight. Now, should he accomplish all these feats, uh, closing the chapter, ending the chapter with Triple G in September, beating Arthur Better Beef and the winner, Joe Smith Jr. and uh, Dimitri Bevo all in this year? Well, what's that, what's left for Canelo Alvarez? You know, he now there's talks that Canelo Alvarez could possibly go up to cruiserweight or uh, one pound over 200 pounds, which would be heavyweight, and fight Olesander Usyk. But Olesander Usyk, who is a Olympic gold medalist, former undisputed cruiserweight turned unified heavyweight world champion, is going into a massive uh, rematch with Anthony Joshua. And then possibly the big fight between himself and Tyson Fury should he get past Anthony Joshua for undisputed at heavyweight, okay? Uh, I believe that would mean a lot more to Olesander Usyk, although he and his team said that they would uh, call a bluff of um, Errol Spence, uh, excuse me, of Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Eddie uh, Hearn, okay? Uh, but I doubt that. I think the more enticing fight would be Tyson Fury. So if you're Canelo Alvarez, at that point in time, you're undisputed at super middleweight, undisputed at light heavyweight, you've closed the chapter with the Triple G fight. What else is there to do, right? A fight with Jamal Charlo, right? Uh, you know, that's a fight that fans have been calling for. And a fight with uh, David Benavidez, you know, uh, possibly a fight with Errol Spence Jr. Now, Errol Spence Jr., you know, is a welterweight. He's looking to fight in a massive, biggest fight in the sport of boxing showdown, undisputed showdown with three-division champion, superstar boxer, who's the WBO reigning welterweight world champion, former undisputed junior welterweight world champion, Terrence Bud Crawford, okay? Um, so, with that said, Errol Spence wins that fight. You know, is he going to jump up to 168? I highly doubt that. Now, uh, Eddie Reynoso is saying, let's get the ball rolling for Errol Spence fight and a Jamal Charlo fight. Um, I see Errol Spence campaign at 154. Uh, if he jumps over 154, 160, three weight classes to 168 to challenge Canelo Alvarez, I think that's a huge mistake. Uh, I'm not saying that Errol Spence can't win the fight. I just believe that that would be a huge, massive mistake to attempt to go all the way up 21 pounds. From 47 to 68, that's 21 pound jump to attempt to challenge Canelo Alvarez, who's used to this weight now. He's become undisputed at 168. He's fought at 175 twice, you know, or uh, at this point in time, it will be three times, okay? Um, you know, he's just a naturally, physically bigger guy at this point, although Errol Spence is taller. Uh, he has longer arms. Canelo Alvarez is used to this weight. I think that would be a huge mistake. 
Now, for the part of Jamal Charlo, who's six feet tall with a 74-inch arm reach, that's one weight class north that's more feasible. And David Benavidez, he campaigns there. So that just makes sense that Canelo Alvarez will go after these fights in 2023, right? It just makes all the sense in the world. Uh, as far as Errol Spence fight, you know, um, I think that Errol Spence obviously is the bigger name. He's a bigger name, bigger draw than Jamal Charlo. He's a bigger name, bigger draw than David Benavidez. So it would make sense that they would want to make that fight, obviously, uh, uh, for revenue purposes. But in my opinion, I don't think it would be a smart move on the part of Errol Spence to attempt to jump up uh, three weight classes, 21 pounds, to challenge Canelo Alvarez. Uh, not saying, again, he can't be victorious. I just don't think that that would be a very smart move on the part of his career. Um, so with that said, I think it would be more feasible for him to campaign at junior middleweight. And, uh, you know, he should Canelo Alvarez get past David Benavidez and Jamal Charlo at that point in time, if Errol Spence wants to move up or they want to look to fight at a catch weight, then, uh, you know, two fights a year down the line, that would be more, uh, um, you know, um, reasonable in my opinion. But uh, Eddie Reynoso, he says, let's make it happen. We ain't avoiding uh, Errol Spence, Jamal Charlo, or David Benavidez. Let's make it happen. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you're liking shitty videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.